today we are looking at skeleton CSS, which is a very lightweight CSS framework. It has around 400 lines of code and it still has mobile included. But of course, it's not as improved as Bootstrap or Foundation for Sites, but it actually also doesn't want to be that. It it's just a starting point for uh, your own UI framework or whatever. So with no further ado, let's take a look at that. All right, as you can see, Skeleton promises to be that simple and a responsive boilerplate. And as said, it has around 400 lines of code, but still has mobile in mind. And also what they have, which I think is kind of interesting, it's a framework which you don't have to install or compile at all. So it's basically just a CSS file you inject into your website. As they described here, is skeleton for you? Then they basically say like, if you want to build something small, um, then skeleton is made for you if you have want to add like around 200 lines of your own CSS code. But if you want to have like a full blown app or a full-blown website, they actually recommend you to use something like Bootstrap or Tailwind CSS or something like that, which also makes sense. Um, and also they mentioned that this website, for example, is built with Skeleton CSS. And yeah, as you can see, it's a lightweight approach, right? So what has Skeleton actually to offer? It's not much, but it's the most important parts for a landing page. So they have, of course, a grid, which is a simple grid. So you can define some columns and um, tweak them into different sizes. Um, they have some typography um, styles, which is actually a different approach as Tailwind does. So in Tailwind, they don't style anything and you can add those utility classes, while Skeleton is a very reduced kind of bootstrap approach. So they actually style the headings and here you can see how it is done. And also they come with buttons, uh, with hover effects, two kind of buttons like a hollow button and a more primary button. And also they have forms, very lightweight. Lists and also they style the code macro and tables and such like that. Media queries uh, for the mobile view, as mentioned. So they went with desktop, um, HD, desktop, tablet, phablet and mobile. But as Tailwind, they also offer some utilities. It's very small uh, compared to Tailwind, um, but they still offer, uh, offer it. So you can make elements on a full width. You can make elements don't run outside of containers. Um, floating directions and clear the float. And then also they have some examples. So let's check out one of the examples they have. And that's actually a landing page built with skeleton. And as you can see, it's, it, it's, it's just a landing page as you would see in the web. And if you can do that with skeleton, I think it's enough. Um, if you have one product or if you want to Got, um, get some contacts, some leads for your product you want to um, publish in the near future. Or if you want to offer a service, this is totally enough. But yeah, let's get started with Tailwind and actually download what they offer us to download. So it's Skeleton 2.0.4 in this video. And we get the Skeleton folder here with actually already an example website. So I will quickly create a project and then we see us in a minute. All right, I just copied over what um, Skeleton offered us. And that's the index HTML, which you get if you download Skeleton. So it comes with the normalized CSS and the Skeleton CSS. It injects a Google font with uh, the font railway. And it has a basic um, setup for an HTML document. So let's actually take a look how that looks like currently. 
yeah, and this is what you get, a very basic CSS page, uh, which you now can start creating. And yeah, you just have to input now the classes and stuff you want. So let's actually add here a button component. Let's assume we want to have this as some kind of a, um, CTA text here, like yeah, and we have actually two ways to include a button. The first one is to have a link, which would make sense here. And for that, we just simply add the class button. Then let's also add the ARAF and just make it as a default link. If you go back, we also need some text. Visit marketplace and there we go we have a simple button which um, does nothing currently and if we want to transform this into a primary button all we need to do is add the button primary class to it I guess it's kind of similar as in bootstrap or foundation for sites where you always have like the base class and then you add like button primary, button secondary and so on. So there we go. We have now a primary button. Um, another way to add such a primary button, let's say it's an interactive element where you want to add like a pop up or you want to scroll to, I don't know, somewhere or it's just an app. Then you can also use just the button whoop, button keyword. And in this case, you don't need to add the button class. You just can add a button primary in this case. And of course, also a text. Uh, visit the store. I don't know. And then you also get a primary button. And if you just leave away the class, then of course you get a secondary button. So as you can see, it's very intuitive. It's very easy. It's very lightweight. And if you want to have something like, um, I don't know, like a highlighted text, then you can just use the standard uh, HTML text to do that as you always should and skeleton has basic styles on that so for in this case we just get like an uh, how's it called italic text exactly exactly tell a lot italic 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 italicized 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 what italicized 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 we well, get the italicized text here Ace is for colored, uh, U for underlined, and strong for bolded. I think I don't have to explain that. And of course, you then have the headings. So, but the big question is now when would you or should you use skeleton CSS? So, I think it's kind of cool if you want to have a simple, lightweight landing page, maybe just to collect some contacts for an upcoming product or if you are a minimalistic person and you just like very lightweight approaches. If you have a blog, maybe you can also use skeleton because I guess that offers everything you need. But also if you have a big project um, where you actually will use bootstrap or foundation in the future, skeleton still can be a good way to build some kind of a fast prototype to test your setup, to test your buttons, to test everything if it, if it works like you expect it to work. Of course, you shouldn't build everything in detail here, but if you are unsure about a certain um, component, how it should behave, um, and you just want to test it in a live action thing, and you are not familiar with Figma or anything else, um skeleton is the right thing i guess to choose here because it offers the most important stuff and you really can build fast stuff which is focused on the important stuff so yeah that's a very fast introduction into skeleton css and when you can use it or should use it 
If you want to see more about Skeleton CSS, please let me know in the comment section below. Then maybe we can build a landing page together or anything else you want me to see to build here. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss any other videos. And until you have to wait for them, you can watch maybe this video and maybe that video. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye.